What's going on guys? Welcome to your 39th Java tutorial again with me Travis and what we're going to do in today's tutorial is add a little menu function to our applet or application. Um, so it's going to be pretty awesome. You know, who doesn't like menus? You kind of need them, right? Um, but before we jump into it, I just want to say thanks again for subscribing guys. It really, you know, I haven't been crying myself to sleep as much lately because of all the subscribers. So thanks again for helping us out. I do appreciate it. Um, so what we're going to do in today's tutorial, because our first window class is starting to get pretty full, um, we're going to create a new class that's just going to handle our menu. But before we do this, um, I'm just going to kind of show you again the concept, but it's going to be pretty similar to the concept we have for our JFrame. Again, our starting start here class, all it's doing is setting up a JFrame, which is actually called first window, because our first window class is basically like a JFrame, at least Java thinks so, because we said extends JFrame. So it's considering this as a JFrame, or we can use our first window class as a JFrame. That concept is called polymorphism. Um, you know, I didn't want to create a whole tutorial on it, but it's basically saying, hey, even if it's not exactly what we're looking for, if it extends, that means it's close enough. It's polymorphic. Uh, you know, you can be in different forms or something. Anyways, so what we're going to do is kind of the same concept for a menu. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a J menu uh, bar, something like that, and we're going to call this, you know, J, and set up a new J menu. And then what we do is we is we're going to add our menu bar to our J frame. Again, this whole class is our J frame pretty much. So we're just going to say add and that's again referring to the J frame and oh, I'm sorry, not add, what am I saying? We're going to say set control in, or control space J, uh, J menu bar and as you can see it takes a J menu within there. So we're just going to say J um, for our example. Obviously we'd have to say like a new J menu there and we could add to this J, but like I said, we're going to create a whole new class to be our J menu bar. So let's do that quickly. Right click, new class, and we're just going to call this uh, snazzy menu bar. Cool, right? Awesome. All right, and the first thing that we need to do is we need to say, hey, even though this is a snazzy menu bar class, it's not yet a menu bar. So all we're going to do is we're going to say extends again J menu bar and that will allow us to do some polymorphism and again we just have to add our imports control shift O and we are good to go um, now our snazzy menu bar is actually a J menu bar we're gonna go back to our first window class and we're gonna say um, snazzy menu bar J Gonna say snazzy menu bar J is equal to a new snazzy men uh, sn snazzy menu bar uh, construct constructor can't speak wow all right there we go so that's the basic concept all we're doing is we're adding a J menu bar or we're setting the J menu bar to whatever we're setting up our class to do uh, because again it's a J menu so we can do this it's cool polymorphism it's like Harry Potter crap so there we go. Uh, we are set up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our snazzy menu bar class. We need to add a default constructor because in our window class again we say hey this is how we're going to construct this snazzy menu bar J um, by the default constructor. So we're going to do most of our code within the default constructor. Again all you have to do is hit control space enter and that's like pretty much awesome right and uh, there we're good to go. Now the word on the street is a menu bar with no menus in it is no snazzy menu bar. So we need to polish that up, we need to fix that up um, and add some menus to our menu bar because right now we don't have anything um, that our menu bar is holding. So how we do that is we're gonna say J menu. And we're just gonna say first menu or the, you know, we're gonna label it as first and we're just gonna create a new uh, J menu and within quotations we give it the title. So we're gonna say menu one because uh, again we're so creative and then just J menu uh, second or two yeah second what am I thinking again new J menu uh, menu two alright so we have two menus all we have to do now is add those menus to our snazzy menu bar 
So we're just going to use the add method and it's just going to say first and also add second. And then again we just have to add our imports control sh or command shift o and uh, we are good to go. That's the that's the most hardcore gangster rap you'll ever hear. Control shift o we are good to go. What up snazzy menu bar? All right, I think I'm done going crazy now. But once we run this application, we should have our new snazzy menu bar attached to our J frame um, of our first window class because again we set up you know the basic constructor and we said hey set the J menu bar to the snazzy constructor or the snazzy menu bar you know variable that we set up here. So let's just check it out, double check, make sure we uh, added everything we needed to. So we're gonna run this bad boy, and as you can see, we have a menu one and a menu two. They aren't doing anything yet, but you know that's fine. It's gravy, baby. So let's just exit out of there and go to our snazzy menu bar and add some things to each menu. So what we need to add within a menu is something called a menu item. So we're just going to hit uh, capital J menu and then control space and go down to menu item here. Now what a lot of people have in their menus are like boring stuff like new game, save, load. You know, what kind of menu is that? You don't want to go into a restaurant and look at their menu and it's like, hey, save or load. We're going to throw some bacon onto our new menu um, or onto our J menu. So again, it's just going to be pretty much the same concept as always. We're just going to say uh, this is a new menu item and we're going to give it a title of bacon. Crazy bacon. All right, so what other items are good for a menu? Well, one of the next healthiest food groups is something called cheese. Crazy cheese. So once you rename that, you have you know cheese and bacon. But these items are not within either of our menus yet. So we need to do that next. So we're going to refer to our first menu, which we called first, and we're just going to say dot add, and we got to add a J menu item. So we're going to add our bacon. And we're also going to say first dot add uh, cheese. Um, you know, food of champions right there. And now when we save this and run it, um, our menu 2 has nothing yet, but our first menu has bacon and cheese. Everything you need for a Java application. So that's a quick introduction to menus. We're obviously going to elaborate a little bit more, go into a little bit more depth of what you can do with a menu. Um, so make sure you check out the next tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a good one. Catch you later.